<laughs> this is Susan Sun on the maker with SunnestFuture.net. We're at Hindmarsh Square. As you can see, we have been having an exuberant group of uh, a Nuon team, solar team, that's just come in first. They have placed first, and we are fantastically being able to get both uh, Professor Wobble Eccles and uh, Martin, and they're both from Delft University of Netherlands. We'd like to hear and share some of their uh, excitement here. And uh, Professor, oh, can you tell us a little bit about the, your experience in terms of working with all these students? Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, first of all, this is such a world solar challenge is, a, is an enormous stimulus for bringing out the best out of these young people in terms of technology, science, working together, you name it. And then if you see the result, that's an example for all the others. And finally, to us, it gives lots of hope for a sustainable future. So I'm so proud. It is so beautiful that, to see that we have won this game. Yeah. Oh, it should be. They are a wonderful group of uh, students. And Martin here is an example of one of them. Tell us, how do you feel about this participation at the World Solar Challenge? Well, the first feeling that comes up to me is just, it's, it's just really great. It's been one, one big experience for the last one and a half years working long hours and it all, face, uh, it all pays off at the end, winning the first place of a World Solar Challenge. It's, it really feels great. Was there any special during this whole race that you would like to share with us? Anything unusual that happened? Well, the whole race was a big experience for all of us and it was, it was really close. It was closer than I expected it with Tokai uh, going to be second place on, on our backs over time. But finally at the last day we managed to get a, a big gap and finish first. Ah, oh, fantastic. We heard that uh, your solar cells was working so efficiently yeah. that the speed was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, well, we have something special, which was uh, what we call the solar concentrators, that each time when we stopped, we could just also put those out of the car and use them in, as extra input. Uh, we also have learned now from the race that if we would not have been smart and have those, we would have been exactly equal with Tokai but it gave us the extra winning factor. But Tokai has a very, very good car. Oh, the Nuon team definitely came way ahead of everybody else for quite a bit. Okay, and uh, is there anything you'd like to share with us uh, be what, before, uh, let's say, for other students or other schools? Well, if you have an uh, opportunity to get into one of these teams to participate in either a World Solar Challenge or something else, do it. It's a great experience, really fun. <laughs> Fantastic. As you can see, everyone is excited and they have just finished jumping into the pool, the fall pool. <laughs> so, thank you very much, Martin, and signing off, Susan Sun Nanamaker with SunnestFuture.net.